Now, the final thing that is not mandatory, that is purely optional, is to replace this ugly IP address with the beautiful host name. Obviously, in order to configure a domain name, you will first need to buy one. So go to whatever domain register that you prefer and buy a domain name from them. I'm using GoDaddy. The next step that you will need to do is to configure the name servers to point to DigitalOcean. And then you will be able to use DigitalOcean's control panel to manage your domain and point that to your address. Droplet. Okay, so I'm using GoDaddy, so I'll quickly show you how to configure that on GoDaddy. If you're using the other uh, domain name register, there, there's a great article on DigitalOcean, how to point DigitalOcean name servers from common domain registers, right? And they've got a list of different domain name registers that uh, you might be using, right? So refer to that article, I'll leave the link in the description for this video. Usually what you will have is somewhere you'll have a control panel, here I have manage my domains. And inside of that control panel, you'll be able to select a domain name and I'll be using nanogram.io. It's not used yet for anything, so I'll use this one. I'll go to manage DNS. And the thing that I need to change is name servers. See here, I already set it up for DigitalOcean, but if yours are not like this, click change and insert ns1digitalocean.com into first place NS2, NS3 into the second and the third places. So save it and it will update the name servers. Okay, so now I am on DigitalOcean and I should be able to manage my domain from here. So I'll here enter a domain called nanogram.io and I'll say add domain. Awesome, now it is in the DigitalOcean's control panel. It doesn't have any records except for NS. What I will need to do is to find the IP address of my little server, here it is. And I will need to put the at sign here, which will mean the domain itself, nanogram.io, and paste the IP address here or select a droplet. Let's create a record. And then once the record is created, it might take a little bit of time before this record is applied. But once it is applied, let's see if I can ping it now. Uh, let's go here and ping nanogram.io. Yeah, it's now resolved to the correct domain name. So you can check that this guy here is the same address as ping here. Awesome. So. It was really quick. It's actually, I wasn't stopping video or anything. It was all in real time and these changes are already applied. Nanogram.io, port 8080. Hit enter and my website is uh, up and running. So the first thing to do, let's just quickly recap in domain name register, you make sure that name servers are pointing to DigitalOcean. Then in DigitalOcean, you go to network tab, networking tab and you add your domain here and point to the IP address of your droplet. Congratulations, you've got your application up and running on your very own CentOS hosts on DigitalOcean and PM2 is managing this app. So if you restart your server, the application will be still up and running. You can deploy two or three or five more applications following this similar pattern and PM2 will be managing it all for you. Moreover, we've got a domain name pointing to this app and you can do the same for your own domain name. Of course, there are many other things that you can do with your Linux server and how you can improve your Node.js deployment and setup. Firstly, you can trigger the redeploy with Git. That is the workflow that I prefer. Whenever somebody pushes something to Git, the application is automatically redeployed on dev server and I can instantly see the effect. Also, you can install Nginx and point it to Node.js instance to serve as a load balancer, right? And failover strategy. And if you are interested in this kind of setups and if you want to learn more about Node.js, deployment, continuous integration, I don't know, Docker, just put a like and a comment in this video and I'll be happy to create more videos on this subject. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the upcoming videos. Bye!